fingers crossed. We get to build our own park. Something insane that will be amazing to skate. The sky's the limit on this one. Welcome back. Welcome, Steve-O, to the show. We are very excited to have you here. Yeah, Thank you. Kind of yeah. Amping up uh, throughout, throughout the day. Um, and what we, we've kind of been following a lot of media on Twitter, and many people kind of said how, you know, they're trying to get you to do lots of things. Do you find that every day people ask you to do things, just all the time, crazy things? Uh, there's some emphasis on that, yeah. <laughs> you kind of do a lot of the stuff for yourself, though, don't you? you know, sure. You're, you're, you're your own worst enemy, aren't you? Yeah, uh, I was, the Nightline news is pretty big yep. here, right? Yep, yep. And uh, they asked me to, to do something. Um, <laughs> and I said, oh, well, how about if I pull out my dick and balls and I'll staple them, and I'll staple my balls. You know, I'm thinking, like, they'll be like, oh, no, never mind. Like, it's yep. all good. And they're like, yeah, we're into it. <laughs> so we thought, um, since you're asked to do all of these, you know, right. crazy things, you need a break. You've been on tour for seven months now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we thought we would pamper you. Why don't we do something nice just... for Steve-O? Yeah. You know, yeah. Just for Steve-O. I yeah. love that. Just yeah. for you. So, so yeah. while we have a, have a chat to Steve-O, uh, we've got this kind of sorted for you. We've got a bit of a robe. Oh, there you go, bro. Right? Yeah. Robes. What do you got? You got a, like a little a facial mask thing yeah. going on here? Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. So, um, I'm yeah. really going for the full experience. Yeah, it's you're nice, going yeah. For the full experience. Now, um, Steve, while you're here uh, for the New Zealand International, International Comedy Festival, tell me about your show, which is going to go down tomorrow night. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's right? yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it's filthy stand up comedy and, uh, Outrageous, crazy stunts. Yeah, and you've been on tour for seven months. Yeah. Where, where has that tour taken you? Um, all over the U.S. and Canada. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go for. Ah, uh, whoops. That's not gonna work. <laughs> um, do you wanna try it? Go for go for another roll of um of cucumbers. There yeah, here I, I know there's more stuff. You can lean back. Feel free yeah. to just chill just out. Just relax. Um, so tell us about your show. What's going to be what's going to be happening? Because you you've done obviously a lot of stunts in your time, but you're going uh, on a, a stand-up vibe here, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that's that's the the first part. You see, the yeah. last time I came through New Zealand with a tour, it involved a lot of alcohol consumption and and uh, drunken rambling. And what I've done now is uh, it's quite long, I've, re sorry. <laughs> I've replaced the drunken rambling with stand-up comedy. Yeah. Uh, which is great, you know. I got into stand-up comedy um, like uh, five years ago. Yeah. And uh, I, I really stuck with it, and and now, uh, you know, I've, I've been super, super working. Now you're getting at it. pampered, you know. You're yeah. in the zone. Um, it's called the entirely too much information yeah. tour. Uh, do you find that people, because of what you do? They come up to you and just share far too much information about themselves with you. I'm um, sure, yeah, and uh, and I share it right back. <laughs> well, you bite your fingernails, don't you? Yeah, I don't bite them as much as pick them. There is not nail. a lot of nail on these fingers, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> While you're here, got one of the best things in the world. Uh, you don't know what it is until uh, I start to do this. I, ah, uh, yeah. The floor. That's what I'm That's talking just about. The, the best thing in the world, isn't it? Yeah. I've got some rollers for you. So um, you went to you went to clown school. I did. Is that right? Tell, uh -huh. me, tell me a bit about that. It was called Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College. Yeah. And uh, it was more like boot camp. Am I making you fall asleep? Yeah. <laughs> it was more like boot camp than uh, than college. And um, you know I'm really grateful for for the experience and for the opportunities that came from it. Yeah. But uh, at the same time. I, I'm not really um, jazzed on, on circuses that, that abuse animals. Right. Oh, I was wondering though, in a class full of class clowns, is it hard to be a class clown? No, not really. Okay. Um, there's, uh, it's, it's, it's highly encouraged. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Feel free to lift your head up now if you, okay. you, you can always. I'm sorry, we don't mean to blind you while we're okay. doing it. Sometimes it works when you do that. How do you feel now? You know? I feel yeah. great. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I really feel rejuvenated. That's nice. So they're preparing you for your big, yeah. your big show tomorrow uh -huh. night. So you can get tickets to that show by going to comedyfest.co.nz, finding out all sorts of uh, information there. I believe we've got. Uh, do we have a video? Yeah, I've got, I've got a little here? thing because New Zealand, Steve, we're, we're we're good at ripping off shows from overseas. We actually okay. do it, but we're not very good at it. Yeah, you know, right. we make terrible versions of other shows. And on uh -huh. a show that I made for a while, we did Half Ass, which was a version of Jackass. <laughs> and I thought I'd play it to you because I'm thinking, you know, you're getting older now. You're getting a bit older. Right. Maybe this is something you could perhaps go into. You want to you want to you want to check this out? Have a look. Yeah. At this. this is a wee bit of Half Ass. Uh, 
Hi, I'm Ben, and this is no junk mail. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tuki, and this is Barefoot Gravel Walk. Hi, I'm Bryce, and this is Bird Toast. Hey, I'm Jeff, and this is Scratchy Jumper. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I'm Big Red, <laughs> and this is the Tap and Go. Did you guys see see my, my, my special picture? Oh, oh dear. See that's you on fire. See yeah. what about yeah. the, the scratchy jumper? You know yeah. that you don't. You know it still itches. It's a little bit painful. And what's it like being on uh, just a smidge yeah. of fire? That's a lot on fire. Yeah. Um, what, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think about half ass? Like, you know? I think half ass is great. Yeah. 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 But it's not quite. It's on not quite. Fire. Yeah. 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 Really. yeah. Well, I, like, I have it on my mind because. Um, because the, the the lamp oil that uh, that I use to to do this big f fire stunt um, is very different here yeah. than it is in, in America. Oh, right. Do you have to ship in special lamp oil? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually going to conduct some tests, but uh, hopefully it's not a disaster waiting to happen. Are you going to be condu conducting them live for us uh, at the comedy festival, or do you have to? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that it's going to be fine. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be fine, okay. and, uh, or, or not, and, and uh, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> What's the, what's the craziest thing that you've ever done to kind of check out your favorite band or comedian or act or act? Oh man, um, when, I, when, I, when I was uh, 13 years old um, and Motley, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Motley Crue came to my town yeah. and um, I figured out the name of their manager and I called up every hotel in the Yellow Pages. As you do. Yeah, asking for a room by the name of their manager. Yeah. And um, at the bottom of the list I, I got through and uh, this guy answered the phone, and I said, is that Doc McGee? And he said, no, this is his brother, Scott. And I was like, it's in Motley Crue, and he's like, how'd you get this number? And, and, and I, was like, I was like, I called every hotel in the phone book, you know? And, and he said, are you serious? That's awesome. How would, you like, uh, how would you like it if I put your name on the list for backstage passes, he said. Nice. And I was like, no way. That's awesome. And so, you've got uh, another picture to share with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, show and tell, amazing. wasn't it? I was, uh, I was 13 years old. And you've and got the picture on your iPhone? And you yeah, had an iPhone yeah, yeah. back then. Wow, really? we're so far uh, behind. Here we go. Here we go. We'll get me. it on cam too. <laughs> uh, that's me and Nikki Six. Nice. Oh, right. And uh, that's me and Tommy Lee in 19, oh, nice. 1987. Mingling with the stars, starting yeah, off early. Very cool. Oh, you were quite savvy with that technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Did you not know that when you asked me the question? That you can do that? Well, no, no. <laughs> no, no, that he meant. I just wanted to know, because I, okay. I wanted to know what's the, um, what's the craziest thing a fan's done to see you. Um, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> we've got a guy across the road who, had, who makes coffee, uh, and he's uh, the hot coffee guy. Yeah. And he's got an interesting tattoo that we, we only found out today. I'd like to introduce you to uh, the guy that makes my coffee. Check that oh, out. Nice. Um, <laughs> all I wanted was lunch. Seriously. I'm, uh, I'm dead serious. Uh, so, hello. <laughs> Thanks for the coffees. What do you think about that? I think that's great. Do you want to meet Jason? Sure, I'd love to meet Jason. <laughs> so the graphic's stuck, um, which I guess says that uh, it's kind of a, a good thing, you know? It's a nice tattoo. Have you, uh, have you ever, do you have people randomly just kind of show sure. their tattoos? Yeah. It's the craziest tattoo you've seen other than that, Jason, thanks. Um, there was a... Uh, You've got a couple yourself, I've seen. It's quite distracting. No, it, it's, it's a little bit distracting. <laughs> There's, um, I don't know, I, I love all my tattoos. Right. Okay, can, am I allowed to show, show yeah. that? Oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe oh, not. I can say that, you can say that. So, if people, <laughs> <laughs> no. so if people want to check you out t tomorrow, there's still a couple of tickets left, I understand, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, for sure. but you've got to get in pretty quick. And what, what will they expect? It's going to be like Oh, your set. mic's on here. Oh, 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 he's live TV, here we go. Here you go. 
It's going to be uh, it's going to be filthy stand-up comedy, dirty jokes and stupid stunts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be engulfed in flames. I'll teach everybody how to get drunk in bars for free for the rest of their life. Then and you know uh, it? yeah, lots more stunts and um, what one thing that's important for me is uh, that I stick around after the show and, and uh, mm -hmm. take pictures with everybody who wants one. So, um, what, what do you have to say to the New Zealanders that uh, will stick around after the show to get a picture that want to woo you? They want to woo me? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to woo me? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Certainly. Um, no, it's for a friend. Especially after this cleansing uh, thing, Terry, his face is just going to look yeah. I mean, it doesn't, if it, it, well, it does already, but I mean, after this. It's going to be good. very radiant. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a single gentleman. Okay. Gentleman. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And single. And single, I too. wouldn't have thought, if I was going to come up with a word that described you, I wouldn't have thought gentleman would have been that. But, you know, I would have... Well, that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay, all right, we'll go with gentlemen. No, yeah. and uh, one other thing that I wanted to do is you kind of, maybe you can ask him about, uh -huh. um, is I've got a pen here that in New Zealand we call a permanent marker. Here it is. Um, and since you, you know, you've got a few tattoos, I thought like we're, when we do go, you could tattoo my arm for me. Okay. A permanent marker, maybe we could start now. Yeah, yeah. go get this inked up tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it inked up for real tomorrow. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried what he's going to write. Should we, should, we, should we show everyone? We'll go back to the top 40. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> oh, oh dear. We'll show you that maybe if we're allowed to, but we're going to roll back into the music. Steve-O, catch him tomorrow night here in Auckland. He looks great. He's going to look great tomorrow. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> back to the music. All right, That's and nice. number 24, it's Rihanna, F&M. Thank you. Oh, even. <laughs> <laughs>